The second part of the Pope's trip to Colombia began with this Mass in Villa Vicencio, during which two Colombian martyrs were beatified. Pope Francis arrived at Villa Vicencio Airport a little later than previously scheduled. On his path, he was affectionately greeted with a procession led by children. This delay didn't stop Pope Francis from going through the city streets as scheduled, though it wasn't without difficulty. Later, the Pope wanted to finish the final round in the Pope Mobile, while already in the Katama field. Almost one million people were there to await him. Even though it had rained a lot, nothing moved the pilgrims from their place. Many indigenous people from nearby communities attended, as well as victims of violence, as that has been an issue that has left its mark on the area. With these words, they placed Monsignor Jesus Jaramillo, the Bishop of Arauca, who was assassinated by the ELN, and Father Pedro Ramirez, known as the gunsmith martyr, on the altar. De ahora en adelante serán llamados beatos y se podrá celebrar su fiesta cada año en los lugares y el modo establecido por el derecho el 3 y el 24 de octubre respectivamente en el nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. During his homily, Pope Francis focused on the Virgin Mary and the solemnity of her birth. He explained the importance that women have in the history of salvation. En comunidades donde todavía arrastramos estilos patriarcales y machistas, es bueno anunciar que el Evangelio comienza subrayando mujeres que marcaron tendencia e hicieron historia en este mundo donde la violencia psicológica, verbal y física sobre la mujer es patente, José se presenta como figura de varón respetuoso, delicado, que aún no teniendo toda la información, se decide por la fama, dignidad y vida de María. In this area, which has been punished by the violence of guerrilla warfare for so many years, Pope Francis reminded everyone that true reconciliation must also include justice. Cuando vencen esta comprensible tentación de la venganza, se convierten en los protagonistas más creíbles de los procesos de construcción de la paz. Es necesario que algunos se animen a dar el primer paso en tal dirección sin esperar a que lo hagan los otros. Basta una persona buena para que haya esperanza. No lo olviden. El recurso a la reconciliación concreta no puede servir para acomodarse a situaciones de injusticia. Todo esfuerzo de paz sin un compromiso sincero de reconciliación siempre será un fracaso. The Pope asked Colombians to imitate the Virgin Mary to achieve that reconciliation by saying yes, just as she did. He also asked them to follow the example of St. Joseph, who set aside his pride, and Christ, who joins the story. As examples, he highlighted the lives of the two newly beatified Colombians as the expression of people who want to get out of the swamp of violence and resentment.